Hello friends, Mr. C here. This is your how-to video to make your very own Band-Aid Chicken Puppet. Now, when you open your bag, uh, inside your paper bag, you should have four pieces of paper. A pink one with uh, the waddle and comb. You should have a, a kind of orange or yellow one with beaks. White one with eyes and another white one with, oops, a Band-Aid on it. Now to do this project, you will need scissors and some type of glue, a glue stick or a glue bottle. First thing you want to do is you want to cut out all of the different items that are on the paper inside the brown paper bag. Uh, make sure that you separate your scraps from the items that you want to keep. So you want to keep your Band-Aid and toss the scraps away. You want to cut out the eyeballs um, and then make sure you throw the scraps to the side. Now you, you can color in the eyeballs if you want to and make them different colors. You can design or decorate the Band-Aid if you want to. Um, I put a, a blues emblem on my Band-Aid. Some students put polka dots or stripes. It's completely up to you uh, if you want to design them. Um, you can also put that Band-Aid uh, anywhere you want to on your Band-Aid chicken. So after you cut out the Band-Aid and the eyeballs, the beak and the comb. Uh, you wanna make sure that uh, when you're cutting the beak out that you do cut on the solid line. Um, one does need to be rounded and the other one will be kind of have like a flat bottom. We'll talk more about that when we get to actually putting it together. Um, let me finish cutting these out and we'll start constructing or putting it together. Just about finished. Now remember, um, as you're watching the video, um, I'm putting this on YouTube for you. So that way, if you need to pause the video or if you need to uh, rewind it to watch a certain part of the instruction over, you, you may do so. Um, you can watch it and rewind it as much as you need to. Don't worry if you don't get it cut out completely perfect. It's kind of hard to kind of get around all these lines, especially I'm cutting now the uh, the comb, the top part of, of the chicken. Um, someone in Mrs. Miller's class this week asked me what these parts of the chicken are for. What does the comb and the waddle do? Actually, I didn't know what a waddle was even. I didn't know what it was called until someone asked and I looked it up. Um, you know, and I still don't know the answer as far as what they do. I do know that uh, a bright red uh, comb and waddle on the chicken indicates that they are healthy, that they're they're doing really well. They're well nourished and well rested. They don't have any diseases. Um, they're not sick. Um, and I believe it has something to do with with mating. Um, the brighter or bigger your the waddle and comb are, the I guess more attractive they are to other chickens or something. But um, I don't know if they serve any health function though. I'm not really quite sure. Uh, if they do or not. That's something that someone could research and get answers to the rest of us. That'd be really interesting to learn about. Maybe I'll do that too. I know a couple of you have chickens, so it might be something you could research and, um, and know about your, your chickens. All right, so um, I have everything cut out. And once you have everything cut out too, you can resume play. Uh, you wanna set your pieces that were inside the paper bag to the side. Um, I always like to start with uh, the beak, okay? Um, when you're putting your Band-Aid chicken puppet together, you want to glue things on the side with the flap. This flap is going to be the, the chicken's mouth. Um, so that's how I always do it, okay? Um, you start with your beak pieces, and I like to start with this one here that has the rounded top, okay? Uh, you only need to put a little bit of glue on this top beak and only right here at the top. You don't need to put glue all over, just the top. So I rub my stick on the beak, just the top part again. And I'm gonna paste this on my bag first. And I'm going to put it, make sure you guys can see, on top of this flap, not the bottom part, but just the top and let it hang down kind of like that. See how I did that? Yeah, it's on the top, right? That's gonna be my top beak. Next, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna put on the bottom beak and the bottom one's actually gonna go underneath this flap and it's gonna line up. So it um, 
can, can be like the bottom part of the mouth like this. Okay. So I'm going to put glue on this entire triangle so that I can stick it on the bag and it will stay there. So the whole thing gets glue. And as mentioned, you lift up the flap, kind of line it up a little bit, and then you want to press it down on the bag so that it's completely flat. Kind of like this. So that way it lines up. And when you put your hand in there, you have a mouth that can talk. Okay. All right. So uh, after I do the beak, I usually move on to the eyes. Now you can put your eyes however you want. Uh, some people like to put their eyes close together like this. Some people like them up here. Some people like to put them uh, kind of sideways and make the look like the chicken is looking somewhere. You decide how you want to do it, but you will need to put glue on the entire back. So put glue, go ahead and put it on the back of the eye. You can place your eye on your bag wherever you would like. I'm gonna put one right here, like that. Um, um, maybe I'll put the other one somewhere else. It could be different. There's no wrong way to make this puppet. So you put the other one over here. Uh, I'm gonna put mine there. Okay, there we go. So there's my Band-Aid chicken eye. Next, I like to move on to the waddles. The waddles are these two little kind of raindrop shaped things. Um, the pointy side is the top, which goes next to the nose like this. And the rounded part is the bottom. So again, go ahead and put glue on the entire waddle. And I'm gonna put one right here. Now they're typically next to the nose on a real chicken, kind of like that. So that's where I put mine. And then I'm gonna put the other one on the other side, right over here, like, whoops, like that. Oh, I think I told you to put glue on the entire thing. You actually don't need glue on the entire thing. I made a mistake. Well, that's okay, mistakes happen. We actually only need glue on the part that touches the top. So. So far, there we are. We need one, two more things to add to our chicken. We're gonna put the comb on next, followed by the Band-Aid. Now the comb is actually a little bit wider than what it needs to be. You kind of see how it sticks over the edge. So I just take scissors, kind of trim it up a little bit. And now it fits a little bit better like that. So you do put the comb on the back of the bag. So we were, putting things on the front and where the flap is, we're gonna flip it over and put it on the back. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here towards the top. And then take your waddle or your uh, comb and put it on. So that way when you turn it around, it looks like that. So the last thing we need to do is put on our Band-Aid. If you already decorated and designed it, uh, then it's already finished for you. So you just put it on the, on the chicken. If you want to decorate or design it after you put it on your Band-Aid chicken, that's fine too. The Band-Aid can go anywhere. If you want to put it on the head, like in our story, or on the body, that's fine too. I'm going to place mine on the Band-Aid chicken's head. So I put glue on the entire back. I'll put it right here. Ooh, or maybe I should move it to the Band-Aid chicken's heart because when people get teased, that's where they hurt, right there. So there you have it, a Band-Aid chicken puppet, your very own puppet. You can now put your hand inside and you have a puppet. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed making your Band-Aid chicken puppet. This is a reminder to you that it takes one person and only one person to create change. If you see someone being teased, someone being hurt, someone being put down or bullied by someone else, you can stand up and help that person say, no, that's not okay. I won't do it too. And soon you will find that others We'll follow in your footsteps and you can be part of the solution. Until we see each other again, my friends. Adios amigos. See you soon.